Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Surfish A Lot. Corey here. Uh, today I'm on the Assiniboine River. Uh, sturgeon season just opened up, so I'm going after some sturgeon. I need four more masters to finish off my pin. Um, I would like to get a new personal best. My personal best is 43 on the button. I'd like to see what it feels like to catch something a little bit bigger if possible. Uh, I'm just using a pickerel rig with a uh, minnow and worm on it. Um, I've got a new rod that I'm trying out here. It's a bit beefier. Um, a couple comments on a previous video of when I was going after cats that my gear might be a little undersized. So I've got a Daiwa Eliminator 4500 and then my uh, rod is a Pen Battle 2. So it's a nine foot long rod so I can cast a little bit further. Uh, my target depth is fairly shallow for the sturgeon here. I'm not going in deep. Uh, I've tried deep quite a bit and most of my success has actually come from shallow fishing. So we're going to see how she goes. Hopefully we get on some fish. So bad right now. <sighs> Need to stretch the legs. I go for an eat my walk. Well, I guess the new rod's sensitive enough. These are the bane of fishing on the Assiniboine River. It's not very big, whatever it is. Oh, another stone cat. Or some bait. It's a creek chub. Yes! I like that. Oh, 
Chub. So these are my preferred bait for doing a um, quick strike rig in the winter time for pike. These are perfect. Pike candy is what I like to call these. But I never seem to go. So maybe this year you'll see me go for pike. smallest I've ever caught, but right species. not be the biggest but some people think they're not that pretty I think they're beautiful I love all the marks on the top there and you can see their lip there right on very small nice to see because uh, that means they're breeding successfully starts to get darker what I'll probably do for filming here I don't even know if I'll be able to see this um, probably go head cam and uh, I've got a little headlamp here that I'll try but uh, I can't guarantee the quality so it might if I do get on something it might just be a picture with some audio of the catch unfortunately as we get into the uh, twilight of the day I'm bad at filming. <laughs> Just caught a walleye here. But, oh, guy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we're got hooked. Unfortunately. Don't clamp down. Do you want to live or not? Oh, I thought I had it there. There. Off you. It's not big, whatever it is. It hasn't even set off my alarm. But it's hooked up, I think. Oh. 
What have we got here? Another walleye, maybe. Oh, nope. Another baby sturgeon. Okay, I'm going to get the net for this one. Oh. She was fighting hard. Quit rolling around, buddy. Two sturgeon in one night. Ooh-wee. I just like for them to get a bit bigger. Okay. You want to come over here? Fine. Nope. Make up your mind. Where are you going? You put up a pretty big fight for such a little guy. He? Yes, you did. Pliers. Nice. Okay. And I think you're even on the top one here too, aren't you? How come I'm not getting that out? What the heck? There we go. Okay, save that. We'll get a nice good look at you. And then you're right back into the water. We'll flip you around too here. Look at that. Hey. Gorgeous. Okay, straight back into the water. Oh. Still feisty, eh? Ah. Shoot, I missed it. Get out of here, beetle. Or it's on. What do we think it is, catfish? Looks like a sucker to me. On the top. And even on the bottom. Oh, that's a decent size sucker. Oh man, settle down. Okay. That, I don't think it's 18, but it's at least 16. On the top. Wow. Out of 17. Nice. I'm not keeping any sucker for bait. Look at that. That's probably about a 16 inch long shell on that turtle. Massive.